Carol, guilty conspiracy, guilty firearms. What? So I'm gonna let you go, Jason, man. Jason, guilty conspiracy, not guilty okay. firearms. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Jason, guilty of conspiracy. Huh? Yes. He was the mastermind among us. Okay. Whole thing. Okay. It wasn't thanks. Bundy after. Okay. Can you? He was being sarcastic. So what was it again, sir? Didn't mean that. So it is. Wayne Emer, not guilty conspiracy. Guilty depredation of government property. Jake Ryan, not guilty conspiracy. Not guilty firearms. Guilty depredation of government property. Daryl Thorne, guilty of conspiracy. Guilty of firearms in a federal facility. Jason Patrick, guilty of conspiracy. No. Not guilty of firearms in a federal facility. No. So, no, Jason Patrick, that's it. Jason no. Patrick, conspiracy. guilty of conspiracy. Yes. No. Come out in the war. That's it. <laughs> uh, Ryan has it. I work for OPZ. Uh, R-Y-A-N-H-A-A-S. Can you read those one more time for us, please? I'm sorry. Hold on. My colleague had just tweeted it. i got to find it again. Sorry, it'll take me a second. I know he has a game and asked you what the time was. So, if you want to, are you guys on Twitter? Yes. Okay, if you go to Conrad Wilson on Twitter, he just tweeted a whole verdict sheet so it's easy to see. Can you just see the four conspiracy sure. charges? Sure. So, for the conspiracy, it was Jason and Daryl were guilty of conspiracy. Yeah. So Dwayne and Jake were not guilty of conspiracy. Dwayne and Jake are not guilty of conspiracy. It came after the fact. Anything else? That's good. Thank you, sir. Right. There's no agreement. Yeah, on Twitter, uh, Conrad Wilson. There's no agreement. Yep. shocked if Judge Brown acquits anybody. Um, and so I, I think it was a difficult, situa difficult situation for these defendants because uh, all the additional time between the fall and now did was contribute to uh, the government refining their presentation, uh, limiting evidence and uh, figuring out ways to um, change the case. And I think the dynamic in the room without Am and Bundy there um, changed. And, uh, and so I think that the result uh, ends up being a, a different one. But again, not surprising. This is the government's house. They don't lose in this building. Uh, and so the fact that they lost the first time made it that much more important and compelling. And that's why, despite a $12 million law enforcement response, they were content if they got nothing more than convictions on misdemeanors. Um, and I, I don't know, you know to what extent the firearms convictions, those weren't an issue in the trial that we had last fall. And so I don't know to what extent that ended up being a, an important factor in how the jury viewed the evidence generally in this case. But, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, it, it, the people that engaged in this protest are people that are committed to a certain sense of, um, of justice. And the conviction in this matter is one that they can accept as a consequence of civil disobedience, of a desire to bring attention to issues that are important in their communities that are largely ignored uh, by people in the cities. And so, you know, I just talked to Jason Patrick, and, and he was convicted, uh, I think, of a conspiracy count. And, 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 you know, his reaction to that is one of respect and acceptance. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's frustration, obviously, on one hand. On the other hand, um, you know, they knew going into this that there was a risk that these things would occur. So, um, you know, the consequences of those are one that, that they're willing to bear. And that certainly was Mr. Medenbach's position throughout litigation when we were involved. And, 
And, um, and so I respect that about these defendants. So you can't point to a single one of them and say, you know, they did this because they wanted to gain something personally from their participation. It just wasn't about that. And so it's a very unique case. In that Do you think people can see this as justice since sort of <laughs> Emmett Bundy and the leaders of the occupation were acquitted on these charges and lesser players have now been of course not. convicted? Of No, of course not. I mean, it's a failure. It's been a failure all the way along. It was a failure beginning on January 3rd when the federal government failed to take responsibility for enforcing the law and uh, responding to this kind of activity at the first instance. Um, and so, it, 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 you know, this verdict today is not a vindication of anything. It doesn't change anything about the underlying circumstances. It does nothing to address the underlying issues um, that led to these individuals being charged in the first place and how all of this came about. Um, and so I think that, um, you know, hopefully as the hysteria subsides, a real discussion takes place in our country about what's going to happen to communities like Burns in the future uh, and how it is that when the government controls all this land, people can still work and function in these rural communities. None of that has changed. And nothing about this prosecution does anything more than to support the idea that, you know, if you want to live in a rural community, the only opportunity you have is to work for the government. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Thank you, man. Where do I go from here? Well, for me, I just happened to be here today. So I was and I ran one of the you feel comfortable talking on the camera? No? Okay, okay. You want to talk on the camera? No? Right now. Okay. Okay. Come up here. Okay. Well, come over here. I'll, I'll get Marine too. Hey, Marine. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Yeah, go with her. Stick with her. What's that? Uh, no, not yet. None of them yet. You want to come over here and talk a little bit? Okay. okay. Okay, everybody. We're going to ask Kristen. She was sitting there in the courtroom. I'm going to wear my LaVoy hat. Okay. Get you a quick little update here of what she's seen in the courtroom. Okay, you're live. Hi. Hi. It's uh, heartbreaking. We were praying so hard. Um, there was a lightheartedness, lightheartedness in before the verdict. We were all bracing ourselves, praying um, our Father, and uh, knowing that each one was given an individual uh, verdict. I, I just didn't feel like this. I mean, I didn't feel like. Um, the jury had the right information. They were... Um, so most people don't know what the verdicts are yet. Some of okay. them are still asking. A lot of people asking yet. Well, Jason, Jason got conspiracy one. So Jason yeah, one. Jason was found guilty. For one. Of one, okay. Zero, conspiracy. And then um, we need to pray for him. And Daryl Thorne got the worst. He got one and two count, the counts. Okay. Um, conspiracy and then the other one was to was the intent to do damage upon and prevent people from working. Okay. And then uh, Jake, he didn't get anything but the set number seven. And so I don't Jake, Ry Jake, Jake Ryan was found counts, not guilty. Not guilty all not the way gu Jake Ryan's not guilty, everybody. But count seven, he was okay. found guilty. Okay. 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 Right. And then Dwayne was not found guilty either, except for... A different count on depredation. Okay, count, count six, six and count seven. Six okay. And seven. So we we have a varied uh, verdict, and thank God at least nobody got you know the run of the mill kind of verdict. Yes. But um, it was heartbreaking, and we know that the jury had requested.
the transcript of the actual court case and they were denied it. Um, we know that there are security cameras all the time up there and they are recording every word in that jury and so it wasn't available to the jury to be able to review. They were, the, the, um, the judge said no and so did the defense, I mean not the defense, the government said no, we don't have a recording available for anyone. Well, we sure did have a security camera on and we also had somebody who was, you know, Stenographer. Sten stenographer was taking it down and they then they were denied that for days they said well we don't know when it'll be available it'll take days for us to get that so in expediency's sake the jury went ahead and and uh did what they did they went ahead and gave a verdict without the information that they had requested day one which was <laughs> they requested some kind of recording so they could review the facts that was the request and they were denied it and I have a problem with that. Yes. We shouldn't be uh, casting a verdict without full knowledge and being able to review. And she, uh, the judge had said, well, you're, you're, you're requested to then just go over your notes and your memory. Well, we do know that people come in, whether they try to or not, but they have bias. Um, and, and just hearing that, you know, one of the jury members had had a problem with us being violent or mean. Do I look violent or mean? Know, I don't know who she was talking about, but that was being said. So I'm just hoping that um, Daryl, that we pray for Daryl Thorne, he got the worst end of the deal, and uh, and also for for Jason, he got. It's just you know to me um, the judge saying I was there in court and she called them co-conspirators all the way through the court. And, and then at the very end said, uh, alleged co-conspirator. I believe that that kind of... Um, biased. Yeah, bias was already in the court. So that's my opinion. I saw it with my own eyes, and I heard it with my own eyes, and I even have it word for word. Oh, my favorite part was the end of, um, I think it was Friday, that the judge had said, okay, um, the jury stepped out of the room, I'm going to clean this up first, and then I'm going to let you back in. What does that mean? Well, I heard what it meant. It meant she was preventing people from um, having full testimony. That's what I heard. I heard that she was listening to testimony from the defense and saying, no, you can't be hurt. No, this is not acceptable. No, this doesn't fit um, our, you know, her agenda. Or I don't know if you've got four reporters here. I'm wondering who you are. <laughs> I'm just a little, I'm just a little person. My name's Kristen. K-R-I-S-T-E-N. -E I have, um, I was actually a scribe in a sense. I just wrote down everything, Thomas. T-A-O-M-A-S? Yes. Where are you from? Thomas. I am from Oregon, Central Oregon. I prefer okay. not to, okay. you know. How are you connected to this? Well, I, I wasn't there, and um, I learned about it. I'm just one of the people that have been observing, and I didn't even know much about grazing rights until Lavoie was shot and murdered. Um, I, I come from a commercial fishing background, OFF from Florida, and when I started hearing the similarities of what my own family went through, I started to uh, investigate where the fish and wildlife used to pull my father over in the boat and harass him, and now it, uh, it's illegal to be a commercial fisherman in Florida with a net. That was the ban the nets agenda. And that's, you know, a different story, but the same story. We're putting our food producers out of business. And where are we going to get our food? The fish that's caught in Florida is not from Florida. If, it's a, if it is caught, a sportsman fisherman catching it. But the commercial fishing industry is over with. It's worth looking up. Um, they turned it into ban the nets agenda. Your and reaction, here we are. Your reaction to this. Right? Well, my reaction is the same reaction I had. My gut. Um, it tells me that the jury has um, been denied a lot of the facts. That's my reaction. Being there and physically in the court and hearing certain things, testimony, seeing seeing the films that uh, the defense had, they weren't allowed to show or certain individuals that were physically there were not allowed to be heard. I have a problem with that because it didn't fit the agenda. Am I, am I alone here? Uh, I have described, I've written word for word as much as I could what was being said and I know other people did too. The fact that the jury was denied access 
to the facts, the recording of, of the actual court um, is ridiculous because we know there's security cameras in there. We know they could have had that. Um, they just wanted to review facts so they, they could give a, a just verdict. And I don't believe a just verdict is given. I really don't. So as you can tell, we're um, disappointed in the verdict down here today. Um, we um, definitely wasn't expecting it to come out the way it did. It um, So Jake Ryan's not guilty of conspiracy. If you didn't get all that, so Jake Ryan's not guilty of conspiracy. Um, Dwayne Emmer's not guilty of conspiracy. But Jason Patrick and Daryl Thorne are both They've been found guilty of conspiracy. Uh, Jake Ryan and uh, um, Dwayne Emmer were both found guilty of count six and seven. That's for digging the trench that they both dug, but all other charges they were found not guilty on. Um, the gun charges against uh, Jason Patrick, I do not think, it sounds like he did not get that uh, charge, but just on the conspiracy charge only. And uh, it sounds like Daryl Thorne, they found him guilty on all the charges. So, as we were just hearing there, it sounded like he got the worst deal of all of them. But uh, definitely, Daryl Thorne and Jason Patrick need our prayers. They have not come out of the courtroom uh, today. As last time, they were out in moments. But right now, I'm not for sure exactly what's going on with them up there. But um, it's definitely... a uh, a hard moment right now for everybody down here so that's um kind of um so everybody is just possibly getting on here jason patrick was found guilty of conspiracy daryl thorne was found guilty of conspiracy and all the charges um J jake ryan was found not guilty of the conspiracy charges along with Dwayne emmer and only found guilty on the digging the trenches BJ, I don't know if they took him into custody at the moment. Um, it sounds like they um, let everybody out of the courtroom except for them at the moment. So all the media that were in there are all down here. But the four defendants have not came out of the courtroom at all at this point. So um, we're not exactly for sure what's um, happening with them at the moment. The verdicts were split. Uh, Jason Patrick and Daryl Thorne were found guilty of the conspiracy charges and Daryl Thorne, as they were just reporting there, uh, got the worst end of the deal of all of it. Uh, he was found guilty and looks like all charges. And uh, But Jake Ryan and Dwayne Emmer were found not guilty on the conspiracy part of the charges. So um, just on count six and seven is what uh, Jake Ryan and Dwayne Emmer were charged with. Those were the, um, the digging of the trenches. So... That's what we um, uh, have the report to you right now. I'll probably go live a couple of more times a day, uh, especially if they come out of the courtroom. So far, um, the defendants, I have not seen any of them come out. So um, hopefully um, we'll have you some more updates sure shortly. So that's all I have right now for you. Um, keep praying for us down here. Keep praying for the Nevada people. Um, God bless and we'll try to keep you updated just shortly again. Thank you.